Hey, what's good? This is Rodney, and welcome back to Pokemon EX. That actually hurt my throat a little bit. Last time we left off, uh, I just got to Geosenge Town. I think that's how you pronounce it. Geosenge? Geosenge. Geosenge. Geosenge Town. Oh, I didn't mean to walk into a story plot, but we did. Why is that update showing up now? Go away, click update. Go away. There we go. All right. Geosenge Town is in the, t is the town of stones. Uh, that was all right. Cool, I guess. That was random. <laughs> Just showed up. This is the town of stones. Bye. Check out the monument. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. We're here to check out the monument, of course. Oh, uh, what's this guy gonna say? You don't get it. It sounds something else. So it's obvious how amazing the stones are. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Anyway, uh, what is this place? I'm gonna do a little bit of it. I normally won't explore as much, but I haven't been here in forever, and this town is kind of cool. Pokemon will not evolve when it holds an Everstone. I have quite a few of them, so I'll share one with you as well. Yay, got an Everstone. An idol's pocket. Stones have some kind of connection with Pokemon. Think about it. Some Pokemon even evolve when exposed to a Firestone or Waterstone. Gee, you think? Um, let's see. Probably get details from the God Hotel. Okay, well. Like, I'm gonna go to the hotel. I am. Um, I think I have to actually, but we'll see. Well, oh, I see a Pokeball. The Pokeball is clearly obtainable. Um, saw to you. Town of Stones, okay. Is that right? All the way from Veneville Town. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. That's great. Um, where's this guy that I'm supposed to talk to? He's somewhere around here, right? Oh, I gotta avoid Mr. O Powers. This is not him. Not bad. It's Kalos. Yes, it is Kalos. You you have into the right region. Good job. Um, said the guy in the hotel. Oh boy, here he is. I noticed who it is. Hey, I'm Mr. Bond. Oh yeah, old powers. Mr. Bond, that's his name. No, I'm good. It's bonding time. That's so weird. What does he do? The screen goes black and he says it's bonding time. I'm just, I you know what. I'm just gonna leave that to I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna talk about it. Pokemon knickknacks. If there's anything I wanna see in a hotel, it's Pokemon knickknacks. That'd be kinda cool. The music in this town is great, by the way. It's some of my favorite music in the game. Where's this guy at? I don't see him anywhere. I said the guy in the hotel, but they neither one of them said anything that was important, so I guess I don't have to go there. Alright. Well oh, I'll just walk back here and get this. Well, this is probably gonna be something whack. Oh, it's <clears throat> Tyra Ball. Okay, it's not that whack. It's useful. I mean, I could have done other things, but you know, it's fine. It's, 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 it's useful. It's okay. Oh, in conclusion, stones on Route 10 are lined up so they connect to Geo Singing Town. Great, his research about them. Much about these stones remains unknown. Okay. Really impressive. Alright, mm hmm. Extraterrestrial, so it's aliens, is what you're saying. Alright. The world is full of things like that. So it's supposed to be kind of a thing off of uh, Stonehenge, obviously. Is this a Pokemon Ranger? It is. Nah, I can tell. I couldn't tell at first. I don't know why. Um. And yeah, they're blocking off the next way to go. Because that's how things go in Pokemon games. Don't go that way yet. Well, in, in Japanese RPGs in general, if they don't want you to go somewhere, they block you off with other characters. Oh, there's a there's that Team Rocket guy again. We're gonna talk to him. I'm for sure about that. So there's no gym here. All right. Someone wandering for three thousand years trying to find a Pokemon. I've heard a story about a man like that, but you can't believe everything you hear. You're right, because three thousand years is impossible. How would somebody wander that long and still live? Anyway, um, this is the monument, right? Yep. I'm touching your monument. I'm rubbing my hand all on it. Oh no. Let's see. <laughs> These ancient stones are said to emit a mysterious power. Oh, it's the only house. Okay. So this town is pretty much meant to just be... Harsh point. Oh, here we go. Right here. Go this way. Come around this dude. Come around this way. So we're already on the right path. Let's go meet this rock. This is a rocket guy. This Team Flare guy. Hear this, Pipsqueak. Team Flare is going to use the stones of Route 10 and the fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. In this world, the ones who have power... Are the ones without who win with flair? Okay, there we go. Who win with flair? 
Was someone from Team Flare here just now? Yes. You said was, you didn't say is. So yes, someone was here. He left. Don't get snarky with me, son of a... There's only a dead end up ahead. I wonder where Team Flare got, where the Team Flare got went. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna follow that dead end. Because we're intrepid like that. Oh. Never mind. I guess we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go ahead and go around the other way. All right. I feel smart. Uh, what's over on this side? Oh, nothing. They're gone now. Lucario, what are you doing? Hey, it's Corrine again. Is it Corrine or Corrine? I can't remember. It wants to battle with you. Would you battle with this? Okay, we gotta fight Lucario again. Leader Karina. That's it. I was I was wrong. It's Karina. I like I had to fight this Julie like four times. It's kind of awesome. All right, so I'm dark psychic right now. So you would do normal damage to me, and you're still. So I have nothing really to offer you with uh, Ink. You're leaving. Um, who's coming to your place though? You know what? Crocs and socks. Let's do a Crocs and socks. Lucario's gonna hit you one time and KO you. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't want to say that, but I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Oh no! Yep. All right. That was. I've had better ideas. My team is dark type right now, so this is legitimately bad for me. <laughs> Cause he can just punch all of my team. Is like, yep, we're gonna die. I have nothing to resist uh, fighting. Yep, we're gonna die. I have nothing to resist uh, fighting. All right, brick, brick. If I could even use it, which I probably won't, cause you're gonna die. Wow, wow, wow. That is not good. We're actually gonna lose this fight. Oh, no, we're not. We're good. We're safe. We're safe. Even if you get KO, we're safe. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else. You're going to power punch again because that's all you need. Yeah. This is actually aggressive AI for this one. So he's going to always power a punch every time. Now, no matter who, hits, who he hits, he's going to KO him, even if they're resistant. And uh, I don't have any resistance, so yeah. Good luck to me. You're not fast enough. You're not fast enough. You're not fast enough. Your car's gonna hit all of you for like all of your life. Ninja Rap is your turn. You get a bunch of experience from this. Wait. Oh, Shaggy. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Inky's gonna get a ton of experience too, so that'd be cool. Right? Yeah. That'd be cool. But you don't resist power up punch, so you need to go ahead and kill this car. You can't quick attack. If he's first, you're dead. Okay, good. I wasn't sure. He resists that too, so I was very fortunate. No, he doesn't. Wait, he should resist it. No, that's right. I forgot to remove that resistance in uh, X and Y. Lots of experience to go around here. Oh, I gotta fight both Lucario. I legit did not plan on that. <laughs> I didn't plan it at all. I thought to fight one like that. Oh boy. Um, you need to like hit with this water pulse and get crit. Cause uh, if you get too power for the spider you're dead. That's not good. I might lose this fight for real. I didn't plan for that. That was a crit, really? Word. This game, I have no revives. So, good luck me. Crit, can I get a crit? No. Hey, I got confused though. That's unusual. Hit yourself, please. Lord, middle sound. Did you just confuse me? No, you dropped my attack. Oh, my special defense. Oh, that's an unusual choice. I think you just gifted me the game. You did. Why did it use metal sound? Because it's power punched. I just said the AI was aggressive, and this time it wasn't aggressive. All right, well, they gained a bunch of levels. Um, yeah, sure, you wanna learn a bite. You can learn it over... 
pursuit? No. Over taunt? Mm. Over taunt. Yeah, because you don't want to use the type of anyway. Can't shoot, shoot. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Well, they're leveling up really fast now. Look at that, they're catching up already. There we go, side beam. Yes, an actual psychic attack. Forget side wave. Oh lord, get out of here. The team is powered up pretty fast. Here we, here we go. Here we go. Things are gonna look up. Name Ultra Power Lucario do extend to you. Um, I got lucky. Your Lucario, you and your Lucario made a really silly mistake. I don't know why, but I'll take it. <laughs> Shalor City. Once you get past the cave just beyond here, you'll be there. So stop by and say hello. So I gotta beat you a third time with your actual team. Which is gonna be two Lucario and something else. Great. Great, great, great. Yeah, you fight Karina like four times in this game. Which is really actually kind of cool. Same time as kind of irritating. It's like I fought you like three times. Just give me the badge. Could gave me the badge then, but it's got to be special. It's fine, whatever. Hope to see you again. Ah, uh, all right, maybe we'll see. I'm trying to be back here. You know, I like to not have to come back here, but we'll see what happens. Same thing. Oh, come to the hotel now. I get information from the guide. Okay, so I'll go back to the hotel now. And I come back this time, she should be there. Yep, here we go. Okay. Didn't you? Some of the bigger ones are more than 30 feet tall, and there are hundreds of millions of, oh, hundreds of millions of them standing more than a mile in all. I suppose it's possible that people put up those homes to help. From lots of Pokemon. For what purpose? Why are they there? There are lots of theories about them, of course. Some people think they're, they marked the burial site of warriors from ancient times. Others say they were built as a family memorial that was set up for a ritual to celebrate life. I don't know all about all of them. Personally, I think there might just be some kind of calendar. You see all the time in astronomy studies. Ancient cultures use stones to track the movement of the sun. One thing's for sure, those stones are full of mysteries. Many believe that they contain some kind of mysterious power. I just hope that it's a benign power that is watching over us and people, or over us people in Pokemon. Speaking of which, there's some mysterious stones in the neighboring Shalur City too. Wow. That was actually, thank you ma'am, that was actually helpful information. Alright. I ain't retain none of it, but you know, it was helpful information. It was good to read through that and get some, some background on the, uh, the, the mythos. That's actually pretty cool. Geosynchron Town is a really cool town. It's kind of sad what happens later on, but it's a really cool town. Oops, spoiler alert. If anybody has not played the game that came out years ago. Um, all right, who's in front? We gotta change some order up here. So, Incubot is at 21, you're at, okay, so you're 14, you're still behind, so that's fine. Incubot's me, you wanna focus on the level up, so that's cool. You're both at 27, you're both at 20. We're doing good, we're doing good. It's fine, we're doing good. Hi, Hiker, you wanna fight? Oh, guess not. You just want to talk about stones. I'm not worried about stones. Oh, there's a Pokeball there. Let's slide to get that. I'm going to walk behind you real quick, sir, and get this citrus berry that I don't need, but okay. Yeah, put it in the berry pocket, come back over here, and then fight you. Hi. Boy, sidekicks are just some intense trainers. I'll tell you what. You were challenged by sidekick Emmanuel. Emmanuel is not Solosis. Okay, we should be able to take this out pretty easily, just with uh, foul play. No problem, we got that. We got those. Why'd you survive? And you dropped my attack power. Oh no, you didn't because I have... Right, yep, you raised it. Thanks, I forget about that. <laughs> that is still so weird to me. The opposite... Oh, that's so great. That is a fantastic thing to have. In a single player. Alright. Oh, Ninja Rat 28. Ninja Rat about to freaking evolve in a minute. Fling. You're not going to learn Fling. I'm saying that now. Keep on moves. Anybody else want to level up? No? Okay. Says that for you. Switch Pokemon? No. In case they're going to get leveled up here. Sigilyph is actually very interesting, or it gives out quite a bit of experience. So as long as it doesn't whirlwind Ink out of the battle, we're okay. So don't use whirlwind. Then <sighs> bring in who?
Er I'm I'm not happy about that. That did a lot of damage. Oh lord, it survived. Flip a light screen. Wait, why? Aren't you the last Pokemon? I'm not using. Oh uh, yeah, you are. Okay, well you know what? Go ahead and take this quick attack. It's fine. I'm not gonna complain. There you go. Critical hit. You gonna get crit now? It's earlier. That's annoying. Level 22. Crocs, 21. All right, I got the DS upside down right now. I'm going to see what happens. Thirteen forty-four for winning. No. <laughs> it must have to be the one that, like, actually is on screen when you do it. I don't understand how that evolution works. It's so weird. It's such a weird way to evolve. Like, turn the, the, the is upside down. Okay. Let me gotta flip it, like, upside down. Okay, you know what? It is, we're trying to figure out what orientation they want to have, have it in for it to work. And I don't know when it needs to be done. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, you know what? Right there, we're gonna stop. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna say thank you for checking out this video. I just realized I'm like at 18 minutes. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you checked out this video. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this content. Um, just as a heads up, I really don't do full Let's Plays. I do more challenge stuff. Um, but Pokemon X is a different story. It's a kind of an exception to the rule because I like doing Pokemon playthrough challenges. And now that I can, because I have 3DS recording uh, capabilities, I'm going to Pokemon X. I'm doing a model type run, if you've not know what this is. I've not mentioned that it's a monotype run in a while. So it is a dark monotype run. So every Pokemon will be a dark type. Which makes it interesting, which is why that Lucario battle was very difficult because like uh Lucario kills my entire team. Anyway, um <laughs> Yeah, so generally speaking on my channel I'll just do um mostly challenge videos. Usually one credit play is my main series I work on. Uh, I find it to be very enjoyable. Uh, but I also find this very enjoyable. I actually find this to be kind of relaxing to play, fun to play and when my allergies aren't acting up. I love talking about Pokemon, and Pokemon X and Y in particular are pretty fun. Um, so, I know X and Y get a lot of shit for being really easy and having some things that people didn't like about the series in this first big transition to 3D, but I actually really enjoy Pokemon X and Y. It's probably one of my favorite games in the series. And actually, when I'm playing through it right now, I like it even more. Um, it is easy. It's probably one of the easier games, despite the fact that, personally, all Pokemon games are easy. They're not hard. Um, as far as the main game, that's not the main, main meat of it, not the main brunt of it. I'll say probably the hardest game is probably black and white. No. The hardest game is probably... Emerald. In my opinion. Emerald's actually pretty, pretty difficult. Um, but black and white's probably my favorite game in the series now. Emerald's still my like my overall like long-time favorite. I love playing Emerald. If you want to check out an older video of mine when I first started doing Let's Play material, I did an Emerald. Mono Bug run way back when it's still on the channel. Um, it should be on the front page still. I love showing it off because it's actually one of my favorite like ones I've done. Like normally you don't like looking back at your old content, and hearing your voice, seeing stuff, but I actually don't mind that with my stuff. But uh, particularly with my Emerald one, run one, my Emerald one, my Emerald run. It was really fun and enjoyable, and actually loved recording it and editing it. And like it's really what got me into doing YouTube content. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I just want to kind of throw that out there because I haven't talked about that a little bit and. A good time to talk about in this video. So, uh, yeah, next time we'll continue on this path, we'll fight this fighter girl that's walking back in, in the square because that's what people normally do. They walk around the square back and forth for no reason. Pokemon characters universe is just very weird. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will holler at you later.